Hello, Jeff here again from Hanging by the Moments. Just say a shout out to everybody. I know I've been kind of quiet for the last little bit. Uh, last month or so, had some family stuff going on. Uh, got through all that, and now we're back. We're back going. I promised when we first started this uh, troubleshooting channel that I'd go into grounding, and I'm gonna do like a real quick explanation of what star grounding is and best practices for grounding your CNC machine. Um, this goes across the board for any kind of grounding system. Typically, when you get into signals, it gets it gets a little bit hairier because you got to determine which way is the source and which way is not. Um, but let's just let's just get right into it. I got a little whiteboard back here, so we'll just kind of get set up, and uh, I'll kind of walk you through this. It won't take long at all, but you'll you'll get some good information out of this, hopefully, and uh, y'all let me know what you think about it. All right, so I hope you can see all this. There's a little bit of a glare, I think, but you got your different components out here. And you've got your computer, your CNC machine, your control box. And when I say CNC machine, I'm talking about the frame. You have your CNC machine, your dust collector, that would be your vacuum system, your vacuum hose if you get a wrap around that. And then down here I've got what's called a ground bus. And that can be a terminal strip or that can be a piece of copper. It can be a copper wire. Um... Sometimes you'll see people use what's called ground rod. Basically, any kind of conductive metal will work. Copper is going to be your best bet. And then down here, I've got a little representation of, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Right down here, you can see a representation of the outlet. So, when you're talking about a star system, it's just what it sounds like. And I think you're going to see this right here. This is going to be your main point right here, right? And essentially, this is what you do. You take the ground from your control box, it comes here. You take the ground from your CNC, it comes here. You take the ground from your computer, it comes here. You take the ground from your dust system, it comes here. You take the ground from your vacuum hose, which is a wrap, goes to there. The ground bus goes right there to that center, that bottom little smiley on your smiley face outlet and that actually goes there's a symbol for a ground that looks something like this and that actually goes back to your panel and actually goes to the ground where people get in trouble and that's that's your basic star system right so where people get into trouble is they'll say oh well i need to ground the frame of my cnc and so they'll ground to here and this will be here right that may or may not work because i don't you don't know what's going on inside here there's different grounding inside that control box and what you can wind up with is you'll see people that'll do this and they'll have that tied to that tied to that and that is a big no no don't ever do it that way Because what you can do is then you can take the noise that comes off the hose and the dust collector and the computer and it all comes back to the control box. Each one goes back to the ground bus. It's that simple. Um, like I said earlier, there is some differences when you start talking about shielding. We talked about that in the USB video. Um, about disconnects and wherever the source is is where you should be grounding your shields generally speaking for a for a basic grounding system like this this is the way you want to try to do everything vacuum hose does system it all comes back to a central location that central location goes back here now that being said one of the easiest ways to do this is to actually go buy one of those little uh, 
replacement or I call them hospital plugs. That's what I've always known them as. But a little three prong plug. And it just took you one wire to the ground. And then you can take this back to your bus bar, whether it's a terminal strip or whether it's just a piece of copper plate. You'll see that used quite a bit. But then that, that collects all your grounds right there and you're taking it right back to your panel. It's that simple. So I hope that helped some of you. Uh, I know it was really kind of quick and I, I promised it for a long time, but I had to get my whiteboard set up and figure out how I was going to actually draw it all up. Anyway, it's it, it looks a lot simpler on paper than what it is in practice. Basically, don't tie too many things together unless you're tying it all at that central location on your bus bar. And that should eliminate a lot of your noise issues. And hey, that's it for star grounding, guys. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. Hit me up. If you think I'm telling you something completely wrong, don't be afraid to tell me. Because I'm human just like everybody else. I think uh, I saw somebody had posted something the other day and he, he made the comment. He posted a video the other day and he made the comment, no matter how hard I try, I miss something. That's called being human, people. That's the way we are. Anyway, hope this helps you out. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, let people know what's going on. Talk to you later.